trying to recover a stolen trunk at Cincinnati's impound lot. Alyssa Beck was hit with a big surprise and a big bill of nearly $500. I felt initially very victimized and um, I felt violated. Police recovered Beck's stolen truck a few weeks after it was swiped from her driveway in Hyde Park. They told her she had a seven day grace period to recover the truck with no fees. She waited to go on the weekend, not knowing what she'd find. We weren't sure what the state of the vehicle was in. We weren't sure if it was drivable. We weren't sure if it had keys. Mm -hmm. There wasn't any plates on it when it came in. So Beck knew she'd missed the grace period and expected to pay for the final two days the truck was on the lot. But now workers said because the grace period was over, Beck owed those two days plus the initial seven days. That's when she contacted us and city leaders. Anybody would put themselves in her shoes and say, you've had your car stolen, all you want is good responsive treatment from local government. And it felt to me like maybe what should have happened wasn't what was happening. The Cincinnati ordinance on stolen cars states any city originated fees shall be waived for up to seven days following the towing of the vehicle. Council member PG Sittenfeld and Amy Murray agreed. The law was vague and complicated about what happens after that grace period runs out. So to go in on you know day eight, hypothetical day eight and say, the grace ran out after day seven, so now you have to pay for all eight days. That just doesn't make sense and that's what we're gonna rectify. Beck got the truck back without the keys or license plates. She paid about 250 bucks after the city agreed to grant her the grace period while they work on clarifying the law. She hopes her fight helps other victims down the road. And council started working on this issue last month. Now the law committee is reviewing this ordinance. Mike. Amanda, does the city have a time frame now where all this is going to get finished up? Well, it's certainly in the works, Mike. The city's attorney still needs to look things over, but the hope is that sometime after Thanksgiving, they'll need they'll be able to get all those clarifications done and, and get something passed. All right.